Andy, we got some results from our uh, podcast survey that we do annually. Yeah, the seventh annual YMYW podcast survey, and uh, a whole bunch of you actually um, participated in that. So thank you for that, for helping us to make this the best personal finance podcast for you. Um, so, do you ha- Joe, what would you like to do? Do you want to go through some of the results to see see what uh, what people had to say? Yeah, I think so. Uh, and of uh, congratulations, of course, to the winner. Yes. What, what does the winner get? Like five hundred dollar Amazon e gift card. So yeah, don't miss that email. <laughs> don't throw it away. It's actually legit. It's real. So I find this interesting. So we ask I don't know half a dozen or or or, or a dozen questions. So I won't go through all the answers because there's thousands of them. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> but. You know, you know, if we go through the questions, it's like, all right, well, how close are you to retirement? So if you think of who listens to financial planning podcasts, you know, Al, what would you think our, our listenership would, would be consistent of? I would say because we sort of focus on retirement planning, I would say mostly retired or within 10 years of retirement. That'd be my guess. Yeah, me too. I would think it'd be a little bit older, someone that is like transitioning into retirement, probably in their late 50s, early 60s. But basically, it's across the board. You know, really? we have um, our highest are already retired. So about 40% um, are already retired. But, you know, you got more than 10 years is around 20%. Five to 10 years is another 15%. Less than five years is 25%. So, you know, we do have a lot of younger listeners that have joined the YMYW crew. So, um, you know, hopefully we can get some some questions versus Rob Conversion, please. <laughs> I love the comment somebody left. They said they're never retiring because they love what they're doing too much, even though they don't need the income. That's a problem I think all of us would love to have. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> Um, question two was when was the last time you or your household paid for the advice of a financial planner? What do you think? I would say a lot of these listeners are do it yourself. That's why they're listening to a financial podcast. Yeah, I would say very few. What do, what do you get? 33% said never. I'm never going to hire one of you. All right. That's, <laughs> that's all good. 70 some odd percent said yes, they have, but one was five plus years ago. Uh, let's see. 15% of you said one to five and 22%. Over the last 12 months. Oh, okay. Interesting. There you all go. Right. Number three, what financial topics are all the most important to you today? Number one, by far, 84% of you said reducing taxes. So that's why, Big Al, you're that's, still hanging on. That's <laughs> you still have here. a job. <laughs> Question four, how did you discover the Your Money, Your Wealth podcast? Um, 41% responded. It was suggested by the podcast app. Oh, how does that happen? What's a podcast app like the Apple podcast, like Apple podcasts or Spotify or something like that. So there's two ways. Number one, if a bunch of people are subscribing to it, then that tells the app that they should show this to other people. And then the other thing is, you know, we put in all the keywords so that people know if they look for retirement planning or taxes or investing or something like that, they come up with your money or wealth. Oh, cool. 32% didn't remember. So. They've been listening for so long they don't even know. Yeah, which is part yeah, of their they've been lives. with us for so many years. It's right. Uh, yeah, too long ago to know. All right. How long have you been a listener of your money or wealth? Um, this one surprised five, me too. One to five years was sixty uh, percent. Yeah. Yeah, I remember one. One of the was like I hated the show at first, but now I love it. That was one of the reviews we've gotten. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's every relationship I've ever been in. <laughs> So there's a pattern there. There is. It's just it's like I come off hot, and then they, then they, it, over time, they, 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 they get used up. to it. Yeah. yeah, they get used to it. Yeah. Um. All right. So that's kind of cool. We have tw- what twenty percent, five to eight years. Okay. So very cool. Long time listeners, first time callers. How often do you listen? Seventy percent says every Tuesday I'm listening. Wow. Wow. Okay. As as Consistent. Like Consistent. <laughs> All right. How do you usually listen? So we're just trying to see their patterns here. Apple Podcasts was 53%. Another podcast. So Spotify um, was 30%. Uh, 10% was YouTube. Okay. Okay. All right. Very cool. All right. So, whoop, did I miss one? 
That's right. Well, the next one is what activity are you usually doing while you listen to the YMYW podcast? And the vast majority, I would say, are walking or driving. Well, well that's why we're asking what the hell they're doing. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Driving. What kind of car? That's yeah. what we need to know. <laughs> what do you want to change about the podcast? They're like, well, you, you, take, you talk about drinking too much. <laughs> there was a few of those, yeah. I'm thinking about having a cocktail when I'm well, answering this question. We, we do, that. but it's because we enjoy a drink or two now and again. <laughs> Which of our fee financial resources are valuable to you? Free. Uh, they like downloading the guide. 70% said downloading our guides and white papers. Another 30%. They like the webinars. So for those of you who haven't downloaded a white paper, uh, you can download them at your convenience. All right. What social media platform do you use? Over majority, what is that? 66% said YouTube. And then a close second of 50% was Facebook. Okay. All right. We want to know that just to see where we want to keep putting this stuff on. or Exactly. Yeah. Okay. We want to go where the listeners are. Okay. Uh, we can, there's a lot of questions there. What are your least <laughs> favorite things? I already kind of talked about that. Uh, you, know, you got any favorite of what are your favorite things on the YMYW podcast that you want to share? I like the one that says the group chemistry of us three. And then in the next one, the next sentence is Joe's a special guy. I like <laughs> that one. <laughs> are you special, Joe? Uh, I, yes, <laughs> I'm very special. So thank you all for putting up with me. Uh, but no, this is great. These are really cool comments. We really appreciate everyone taking the time to fill this stuff out. I know most people hate surveys, uh, me included, but it really helps the podcast. It helps us kind of focus on what we should be doing. Keep doing the things that we're doing well and stop doing the things that we're not doing well. Get the information education out to you in a timely manner and then, you know, come up with new stuff and keeping this show fresh, fun, informative, you know, is really the goal of the show. So appreciate everyone taking the time there. And, so, you know, there were, there have been a few comments of people saying that they want to see stuff on video. So we've already fulfilled that. So thank you for that. And thank you for making the suggestions. And thank you guys for being willing. Yeah. Yeah. And and here we are on camera. Look at this. This jacket <laughs> makes me kind of look a little. Yeah. Fuzzy. Both of you are just like moving like crazy all the time. Yeah, it's great. I, I wore the I wore the wrong shirt today. But anyway, we kind of matched, Joe. Yeah. We're just all over the place. Matchy, matchy.